Something has happened. Peter's shown you my special tongue trick. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most exaggerated carnal situations to ever hit the small screen. Hello, 911. I'm on fire. Number 10, Buffy and Spike, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There's something to be said about a will they or won't they dynamic, and sometimes it's just best to let shipping be shipping. Your job is to kill the Slayer, but all you can do is follow me around making moon eyes. I'm in love with you. You're in love with pain. Admit it, you like me because you enjoy getting beat down. A certain contingent of fans wanted Buffy and Spike to get together on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but when they finally did, the results were so explosive that it caused collateral damage. I wasn't planning on hurting you much. You haven't even come close to hurting me. Afraid to give me the chance? The pair engage in an argument back and forth until their passions eventually explode into a scene that, quite literally, brings the house down. Buffy and Spike's fun time is so intense that an abandoned house gets shaken to its foundation thanks to all the activity. When did the building fall down? I don't know. Number 9, Be My Baby, Moonlighting. Speaking of will they or won't they, Moonlighting is the textbook example of how getting a couple of characters together can ruin a show. I just want to talk to you about this. Why? Why? Why, Maddie, David, I... David, I ask you a question. Why should I talk to you about it? What difference will it It'll make? Fans thrilled at the ritty repartee of Sybil Shepherd and Bruce Willis over the course of two seasons, but after their characters finally hooked up in the third, Moonlighting began in slow but inevitable decline. How about we do it all again? Only this time I'll chase you. How do you feel about me, David? How do you feel about all this, David? I have a right to know, don't I? That said, the scene when David and Maddie finally do the deed admittedly does feel earned, rising up from physical arguments to, well, getting physical. The musical accompaniment is Be My Baby by the Ronettes, and it underlies how long these characters have secretly wanted what's going down. Sure, it's not graphic by today's standards, but the romance was hot stuff back in the late 80s. Number 8, Smitten in the Kitchen, Shameless. The American version of the infamous UK series Shameless did a great job at carrying over all of the sexual going-ons between the Gallagher family and the show's various cast of characters. Straight answer, if I hadn't busted my skull for you tonight, would you have looked at me twice? I was saying that I looked twice. Oh, you did then? Heck, the very first episode of Shameless USA features a graphically realistic tryst between Emmy Rosam's Fiona Gallagher and a good Samaritan named Steve. Tonight I see you there again. All the indications being that I'm getting a second chance to make a good impression. Tell me to stop, and I'll stop. The sequence revels in how awkward and uncoordinated even the best hookup can be, and both actors lean into not having a lot of hang-ups or vanity with regards to how the act looks on screen. It's a smart move in the end, because the scene ends up being both over the top, as well as pretty steamy, if we're being honest. Number 7. Catherine's Lovers, The Great. This fictional and satirical take on the life of Catherine the Great takes delight in showcasing some sexual gymnastics between Catherine, her husband Peter, and her lover Leo. Wow. Is wow. I don't know. It is a word that came to me. It is right, I think. Although Catherine initially finds more satisfying encounters with Leo, Nicholas Holt's Peter III of Russia does his erotic homework and wants to prove it to Elle Fanning's Catherine. I wish to now also give you a gift. How exciting. We are curiously like minded. <laughs> Sit on the desk and pull up your skirts. Oh, right. That gift. Mm -hmm. Enter a scene where Peter pleasures lead Catherine in a manner that juxtaposes the pair's marital activities against the carnal excursions with Leo. It's the sort of hot stuff that's easy to find on streaming services like Hulu, but the great still manages to stand out from the pack. Number 6. Caught. The Americans. Sex on basic cable can traditionally only go so far, and this went double back in the mid-2010s. Henry, I don't think mom and dad came home. I don't care. Yet that didn't stop the Americans from pushing buttons and boundaries with this daring sequence from its second season. Get back in your room, Henry! Let's face it, no child wants to walk in on their parents doing it, but the position in which real-life couple Carrie Russell and Matthew Riss are in is quite graphic, particularly by cable standards. Privacy and respect, this is why we have those rules. I know. Why would you open a closed door? I, s I missed you, Mom, and... 
I'm sorry. Then again, The Americans was a show that featured an enthusiastic car scene in the very first episode, so fans probably knew what to expect. An eyeful. I can be Number 5. This Tent is on Fire, Westworld We're thinking that the sex between Maeve and Hector here on this episode of Westworld just had to be phenomenal. I've been here before. We've been here before. We also did this. How else could those characters explain continuing to carry on while the area around them is on freaking fire? We get that Maeve knows that they're both cybernetic hosts who will just reset whenever they die anyway, but that explanation is no fun. Getting to hell is easy. We'd much rather imagine the feelings she and Hector have for one another, burning hotter than the flames that threaten to engulf nearly everything around them in that tent. Number 4. Breaking Bed, Jessica Jones the Marvel Cinematic Universe isn't exactly a place where sex scenes are commonplace. Thankfully, some of Marvel's Netflix shows picked up some of that sexy slack, such as the scene between Jessica Jones and Luke Cage in this third episode. More? Nah. Full. I wasn't talking about the food. The pair's on-screen coupling is aggressive, action-packed, and enthusiastic, where neither participant feels slighted with regards to the camera gaze. It provides tonal shifts and subverted expectations from typical Marvel flair. Meanwhile, a Decider article from 2015 further analyzed the relationship as it progressed with regards to their emotional vulnerability. As the sex scenes become more, well, super, so too do Cage and Jones become closer as a pair. I got no idea what you're thinking. I think you do. Number 3. Murder by Sex American Horror Story. The title of our entry just sort of says it all, right? After all, when you nap Lady Frickin' Gaga to star in American Horror Story, you just gotta go over the top with her season. Hotel ticked all of the hot and spooky boxes with this scene featuring Gaga and her co-star Matt Bomer. This was just an evening more I think that would last. The pair engage in some coitus with another couple, only for the scene to get really dark when Bomer's and Gaga's characters murder their new partners in graphic fashion. On one hand, it's par for the course for American Horror Story to mix sex and death in this fashion, but then again, the execution goes for broke, and Gaga sells it to the max. A little early for you, isn't it? Number 2. Marnie and Desi Girls Sex, by its very nature, is comedy. Very few of us look good doing it, which is why Hollywood scenes fulfill such an important fantasy. You're talking about the intimacy. Yes, I'm talking about the intimacy. Then there's shows like Girls, which arguably depicts sex at its most realistic. Sure, Marnie and Desi are a good-looking couple, but there's nothing flattering about the position they're in while fornicating in their kitchen. It's a scene that immediately got fans talking, and it's explicit enough that we can't really go into too heavy a description without YouTube flagging us. That said, fans of Girls know exactly what we're talking about and also fans of Family Guy. I'm sorry that I gave you the impression that I was even almost remotely capable of doing something like that. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ladder Play Bridgerton Mileage may vary with regards to period costume dramas, but there's no denying the did-you-see-that talking points Bridgerton brought to practically every water cooler. Phoebe Denevar's Lady Daphne losing her virginity in grand fashion? How do you feel? I feel... I feel... wonderful. Check. Daphne and reggae Jean Page's Simon Bassett's palatial escapades throughout a fancy schmancy British manner? <laughs> Double check. It's the sort of sex scene that's borderline comedic with how over the top it is, including an infamous climax with Daphne atop a ladder and Simon down below. <laughs> Kinda makes you want to rip your bodice just thinking about it, doesn't it? Do you think sex scenes have gone too far in television? Not far enough? Let us know in the comments. Oh my god, I can't get over it. How amazing you are, so commanding, so forceful. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.